this is Jamie for GearVest, a very exciting news. GearVest got the Jumper X4 Pro Global Launch Exclusive. So this video is going to be very short, just going to go through some very basic tests, some very basic first hand-on experience and some specs. So first hand-on experience is the appearance. This is a really nice touch that Jumper is providing with us since its beginning of its laptop, which is the bumpers at the bottom. I really like them because I'm kind of clumsy. I kind of drop my laptops very heavily comparatively. This makes sure that I wouldn't be worried about actually hurting my motherboard or CPU or anything that's actually inside. And also despite the fact that Jumper X4 Pro is actually very slim, it's actually relatively heavy. Even when holding it with one hand, it's actually a little bit tricky to do it by one hand. Equipped it with a 14 inch almost bezel-less screen. Before we move on to the inside, the hardware part, we're gonna take a look at its ports. Very standard, USB port right here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Always nice to have the option, but it's nothing surprise in a laptop. And a TF card that is expandable for the memory. On this side, charging dock, Type C for data transmitting and also for charging, of course, another USB cable and an HDMI dock. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, I'm really it's really a little bit heavy for me to hold full aluminum. Once again, very heavy to hold for one hand. For those of you who actually heard of jumpers before or actually know about this brand, most of the jumper laptop only comes in a US keyboard. So for those of you, which is not a big problem for me because I'm already used to US keyboard, but for those of you who are more used to keyboards in other languages, you might want to keep that in mind. And also, on that note, as you can see right here, it's actually pretty noticeable that compared to its previous version or its any other version available from Jumper, X4 Pro actually enlarges the entire touch board, which is really nice. It's a really nice touch. It allows more options, you know, it's easy, it's more accessible. From time to time, you can just wipe your finger from left all the way to right without needing to go back and do it again because it's really, really broad right here. It takes up over half of its space, really. It's a really nice touch. I really like this, actually. So I would like to wrap this up with the keyboard and also the interface right here about the appearances by actually doing a testing about this keyboard backlight. It, it's not something that I actually use very often, even with my own laptop. I never ever once turn the keyboard light off because I kind of memorized where it is, but I know understand that it's like a really big matter to some of our users and also a lot of people around me. So let's do a quick testing. So currently we're under low light circumstances. I did not turn the entire light off, but let's get started. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna, this is off mode, the keyboard bat like it's entirely off. And level one, level two, level three, and that's the options. To be completely frankly, even if I don't use bat light, this is really not the optimized option that I would like to have. Understandably, the room is only under low light, not entirely dark. The backlight for keyboards might be a little bit blended into the existing light, but the option that Jumper X4 Pro is giving, I still don't think is sufficient enough. Moving on from the appearances and the look of it and the first hand on touch of it, let's get inside about the hardware. This one is actually equipped. Uh, the difference is a little bit upgrade compared to its previous version, which is X4. X4 Pro is equipped with an Intel Core i3. Understandably, i3 is a really nice budget option for a laptop. It's cost effective, it runs smoothly as it should be for usual using, even for, for website browsing, for video browsing, for files, Microsoft files, absolutely no problem. But due to be noted that i3 does not support Turbo Boost, so if you're a heavy gamer, you like play games like that is like big games like Call of Duty or World of Warcraft, this one is probably not something that you might want to take into consideration. Camera-wise, uh, I understand that laptop, it's, a, it's an accessory for laptops to have cameras, of course, for FaceTiming, for video calls. Um, this one, surprisingly, also a little bit frustrating. Its camera is right down here. Aha, uh -huh, right here. I'm not gonna do the camera testing, but the only reason why is because it being there, there's literally just no way to avoid my face look super double chain because of the, uh, just where it positioning. But it's understandable that 
there are some compromises and sacrifices you have to make in order to reach to a very basilisk screen. That's understandable. It's just does, it does not have enough space for that. But I'm not gonna do the camera testing just because, like I said, I'm not gonna indulge my face looking like looking giant with double chin on it. That's that's a no go. But specs wise, you should know this is a two megapixel front camera. So me not being able to sacrifice myself with, for the front camera, the least I can do is put out a quick video for all of you to actually make a sense or to actually feel the audio quality for Jumper X4 Pro. There it goes. This is already like in default one here somewhere. It's shape of water somehow. I don't understand why it's a shape of water. But, you know, that's the option. I'm going to the maximum. The princess without voice. So granted, not the loudest or the best quality audio effect I've ever heard, I have to be completely honest, but given its price, given its whole package, given that you usually just don't put your audio sound to the maximum. One last final factor, a true upgrade compared to its previous version, which is X4. X4 Pro is equipped with 8 gigs of RAM plus 256 gigs of storage compared to the previous one, X4, which is equipped with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. These factors are actually the true marks that the difference between X4 Pro and its previous version, which is X4, an upgraded one, which makes about 100 US dollar difference between this one and the previous one. So Jumper X4 Pro is about 480 US dollar, give or take, depending whether it's on sale or not. In conclusion, despite not having deep enough research and also hand-on experience with this laptop, I'm still gonna go with Jumper being well known, still stick to its budget-friendly kind of core concept provided with a really new arrival with a full metal body, really nice detail touch, considerably compatible and really nice touch of its screen, its keyboard, very thoughtful idea of the enlarged touchpad and very nice audio sound and all the accessory that it requires. So I'm still gonna recommend this Jumper X4 Pro to you. So if you're interested in making a purchase, please do check the link below. This is Jamie, thank you for watching.